Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about how to create a logo for free for your Shopify dropshipping stores. So I know a lot of you guys starting your Shopify dropshipping stores out, you want to create that brand, you want to create a logo, but you don't know how. So today we're going to be going step by step exactly how you can create a logo for free for your Shopify dropshipping business. So guys, in a second here, we're going to jump into the website and I can show you exactly how you can get started. So in three, two, one, boom. Alrighty guys, so we are now on the website. The website is called Logo maker.com I will put that on screen as well so you guys can see how it's spelled and go to the website for yourselves as well so when you come to this website here it, it should be an open canvas uh, once you click through their little video prompt up that pops up and so this is the home screen here it's basically just a blank canvas for whatever you want to design, right? It's for free to use just on Google off of, you know, logomaker.com. So if we come over here to search for graphics, this is where you're going to be uh, figuring out what kind of design elements that you want in your logo. So say, for example, you're, you have like an elephant store, okay? All focused around elephants. Well, let's say uh, you want to obviously put an elephant in your logo, right? So... We can search elephant over here and it'll come up with a bunch of different nice simplistic pictures of elephants. Uh, so, you know, if you're creating uh, an elephant, maybe you want to like an elephant brand for people that love elephants um, and you, you know, have a following around elephants built up on your Instagram page. Maybe you want to use this logo here. All right, it's nice and cute little uh, uh, the like this upside down smiley face eyes makes it like looks as if it's like anime or some something like that. So as you can see, it's a nice simple uh, logo here with just the elephant. Now, obviously, you don't want to just have an elephant for your logo. You probably want some other elements, too. So maybe you want a circle outline as well. Um, so we could just search for circle here. So let's say we want something a little bit more. I don't know um let's say something like this okay something that got a little bit more design elements to it right because we don't want something super simple uh but we want it easy to recognize and something that could be printed out uh very easily in and recognizable really from your instagram profile picture because that's ultimately where people are going to see this logo the most on any of your social media platforms where you're going to be promoting your products you want your products to be able to be uh, easily identify that this is the brand selling these products. So like people go to your Instagram, they're like, oh, this is the brand, blah, blah. Like it looks really professional, looks really nice. People can trust it. You know, you don't want just some random picture off Google. You want like a nice uh, actual design. And this is how you can do it for free really easily. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, customize this a little bit more. So as you can see, to change the colors, all you have to do is click on the image. And, and like I said, I mean, you could search for any images on here. Uh, you could search for like a coin even uh, if maybe if you're doing some some sort of thing around like cryptocurrency t-shirts I don't know I mean there's a lot of different types of stuff you could even do um, I don't know I mean you could you as you could see here you know there's a, t a ton of different types of any kind of design I mean for crypto they have all the Bitcoin logos in here um, you know with any anything you want, they should have in here. They even have little categories too at the top. So maybe if you're not sure exactly what you want, you could click on like nature. You can see some little simple nature designs. Uh, you could see silly kind of like pictures. You could see sketches. Um, I wouldn't recommend really using the sketches because they're a little bit too complex. Uh, you want to stick to simple things so that you can easily... Um, uh, change the colors and utilize it for your own logo. So I would stick to something like simple pictures, like maybe this star, not nothing too intricate because you want to be able to customize this for yourself. And if it's something too intricate, uh, somebody else may be using that same logo and it might be a little like confusing, not exactly as genuine. So, you know, I would just recommend using like simple things like this. This is perfect here. Um, so as you can see, we have the elephant laid out. So let's go ahead and change the color here to let's go with a nice little um i don't know something like purple purpley or maybe um yeah like a nice little like lavenderish color right okay so i'm gonna drag that into here and then what you can do is see this is maybe an issue oh no i can't put it behind it well you just right click and you click send to back so now you have it there um and if you wanted to do it like this um 
and it also lines up so you can like align things properly so it's not an issue there either and so then you could change this color to white now obviously it's hard to see with what with a white backdrop um because the canvas is white but it does save as white like if you were to go and save this image it would appear white as the backdrop but let's just not use that for the example because it's a little bit confusing when you're trying to look at this on the canvas um so let's go ahead and go with maybe like a light blue kind of color right something like kind of light blue and this is just a this is just for example guys for the video you could do whatever you want uh, you know, I'm not really in love with this design, but I'm just throwing it together really quick just to show you the possibilities here that you can have with creating a logo on the logo, logo maker website. You know, it's infinite possibilities um, on here that you can see. Nah, that doesn't look too bad. You know, you can make whatever you want for your Shopify dropshipping stores on here. And even if you're not doing a Shopify dropshipping store, you know, this could kind of logo design website could be used for really any kind of business that you need to create a logo for. Uh, and it's free. And then, so once you have your design all picked out, you're like, all right, cool, this looks good. I like this little elephant and uh, blue circle-y background thingy. All you have to do is then click on the upper right corner here for saving the logo. Uh, and then it's going to pop up here with option one for $19 or option two for $0. Now, guys, pick option two. Don't pay $19 unnecessarily. You don't have to do that. Pick the free option um, because it says lower quality, but it looks pretty, pretty solid. So you just go and it says, oh, you have to agree to give credit, right? So option two, uh, this is what you want to pick, obviously, for free. And so then you just click download and agree to give credit. It pops up and you then have the download here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you. And so here we go. As you can see, it's uh, nice and big. Now, obviously, whenever you're going to be using this logo anywhere, it says low quality because it looks a little pixelated when it's all blown up. But, it, you know, if you, when you shrink it down to like what you're going to be using on your social media pages or on your website, you cannot even tell. Like it looks... It looks pretty solid, so, oh, that's to zoom in. Uh, I don't think we can zoom out anymore, but you get the point. Uh, you get the picture, okay? You can, when you shrink it down, you don't even notice the difference between, like, the, the quality differences here that they have uh, as options for you. Um, so that that's pretty much how you create your logo for your Shopify dropshipping business. There's infinite types of things you could create on the Logo Maker website. This is what I've personally used for all of my businesses because... It's very simple, it's free, and they have tons of cool little images all in their entire platform. So it's really simple to use, and that's why I like it. So I hope this helped you guys out with creating your logos for your Shopify dropshipping stores. And if you guys have not actually started your Shopify dropshipping stores yet, I do have a 14-day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, you go ahead and click that link. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.